Hey, genuine well-wishers and constructive critics to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. At the outset, I wish you and your beloved a safe journey this year too, as well as subsequent years, in spite of the three waves of Corona, with the fourth and subsequent waves in pipeline, in progress, all variants of concern in full swing in India, all with high mortality rates, besides other natural calamities all over the globe. It is social activist come good-hearted preacher, Professor S. Suresh, back with a sheer ecstasy, enticed with altruistic curiosity to learn the unknowns, like an infant for my 203rd video on Unveil of Publication on YouTube today, 5th January 2023, Thursday. The topic for today is foolproofing against computer viruses. All of us are affected by this computer virus. Damn idiots. At the outset, I wish assure you my videos are always short and sweet, worth every femtosecond of your precious time. We are mortal, but our videos are immortal. We live through our videos forever, for sure. Hence, I am confident that I live forever having published 203 videos so far, including this particular video, for the benefit of society that too absolutely free. Virus. Ultra microscopic infections, infectious agent that replicates itself only within cells of living hosts. Many are pathogenic. A piece of nucleic as a DNA or RNA wrapped in a thin coat of protein. That is, as per virology, a disease caused by a virus, again, a software program capable of reproducing itself and usually capable of causing great harm to files or other programs on the same computer. This is what is called as computer virus. Our focus is on this computer virus. A true computer virus cannot spread to another computer without human assistance, a harmful or corrupting agency. This video will be confined to elaborate discussion to, on computer viruses and how to make our computers and other electronic gadgets hackproof. Computer viruses. The term computer virus coined by Fred Cohen in 1985 is a misnomer. Viruses often perform some type of harmful activity on infected host computers such as acquisition of hard disk space or central processing unit, shortly CPU time, or accessing and stealing private information, corrupting data, displaying political, humorous or threatening messages on the user's screen, spamming their email contacts, logging their keystrokes or even rendering their computer useless, at least to a certain extent. A computer virus is basically a type of computer program that when executed replicates itself by modifying other computer programs and inserting its own code. Computer viruses generally require a host program. The virus writes its own code into the host program. When the program runs, the written virus program is executed first, causing infection and damage. Virus writers use social engineering deceptions and exploit detailed knowledge of security vulnerabilities to initially infect systems and uh, to spread the virus. Viruses use complex anti-detection stealth strategies to evade antivirus software. Motives for creating viruses can include seeking profit. Example with ransomware Desire to send a political message, personal amusement to demonstrate that the vulnerability exists in software for sabotage and denial of service are simply because they wish to explore cyber security issues, artificial life and evolutionary algorithms. A computer virus generally contains three parts, the infection mechanism which finds and infects new files, the trigger which determines when to activate the payload and the payload, which is the malicious code to execute. Infection mechanism, also known as infection vector, this is how the virus spreads. Some viruses have a search routine which locate and infect files on disk. Other viruses infect files as they are run. Trigger, also known as logic bomb, is a part of the virus that determines the condition for which the payload is activated. This condition may be a particular date time, presence of another program, size on disk exceeding a threshold, 
or opening a specific file. Payload is the body of the virus that executes a malicious activity. Payload activity is sometimes noticeable as it can cause the system to slow down or freeze, which we call uh, my system is hanging. No, sometimes payloads are not destructive, and the main purpose is to spread the message to as many people as possible. This is called a virus hoax. Phases, dormant phase, propagation phase, triggering phase, execution phase. As software is often designed, de designed with security features to prevent unauthorized use of system resources. Many viruses must exploit and manipulate security bugs, which are security defects in a system or application software to spread themselves and infect other computers. Software development strategies that produce large numbers of bugs will generally also produce potential exploitable holes or entrances for the virus. To replicate itself, a virus must be permitted to execute code and write to memory. For this reason, many viruses attach themselves to executable files that may be a part of legitimate programs. If a user attempts to launch an infected program, the virus code may be executed simultaneously. The vast majority of viruses target systems running Microsoft Windows since majority of computers in use all over the globe use this dumb operating system, OS. Classification of computer viruses. One manner of classifying viruses is to analyze whether they reside in binary executables such as exe or com files, data files such as Microsoft Word documents or PDF files or in the boot sector of the host or drive or some combination of all of these. A memory resident virus or simply resident virus installs itself as part of the operating system when executed, after which it remains in random access memory, RAM, from the time the computer is booted up to when it is shut down. Resident viruses overwrite, interrupt, handling code or other functions and when the operating system attempts to access the target file or disk sector, the virus code intercepts the request and redirects the control flow to the replication module infecting the target. In contrast, a non-resident memory resident virus or non-resident virus when executed scans the disk for targets, infects them and then exits. It does not remain in memory after it is done ex executing. Boot sector viruses specifically target the boot sector and are the master boot, boot, record, boot record MBR of the host hard disk drive, solid state drive or immovable storage media, flash drives, floppy disk, pen drives, memory cards, etc. The most common way of transmission of computer viruses in boot sector is physical media. When reading the VBR of the drive, the infected floppy disk or USB flash drive connected to the computer will transfer data and then modify or replace the existing boot code. The next time a user tries to start the desktop, the virus will immediately load and run as part of MBR, master boot record. Email viruses are viruses that intentionally rather than accidentally use the email system to spread. While in virus infected files may be accidentally sent as email attachments, email viruses are aware of email system functions. They generally target a specific type of email system. Microsoft Outlook is the most commonly used. Harvest email addresses from various sources and may spend, sp append copies of themselves to all emails sent or may generate email messages containing copies of themselves as attachments. Some viruses called polymorphic viruses will employ a means of encryption inside an executable in which the virus is encrypted under certain events such as the virus scanner being disabled for updates. Or the computer is being rebooted. This is called crypto virology. To avoid being detected by emulation, some viruses rewrite themselves completely each time they are to infect new executables. Viruses that utilize this technique are said to be in metamorphic code. To enable metamorphism, a metamorphic engine is needed. A metamorphic virus is usually very large and complex. The power virus is a computer program that executes specific machine code to reach the maximum central processing unit CPU, power dissipation, Computer coding apparatus are designed to dissipate power up to the design thermal power. 
the thermal design power rather than maximum power and a power virus could cause the system to overheat if it does not have logic to stop the processor. This may cause permanent physical damage. Microviruses, be, microviruses have become common since the mid 1990s. Most of these viruses are written in the scripting languages or, my, or Microsoft programs such as Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel and spread throughout Microsoft Office by infecting documents and spreadsheets. The virus may also send a web address link as an instant message to all the contacts stored on an infected machine. If the recipient thinking the link is from a friend, which is a trusted source, follows a link to the website, the virus hosted at the site may be able to infect this new computer and continue propagating. Viruses that spread using cross-site scripting were first reported in 2002 and were academically demonstrated in 2005. Ransomware is a virus that posts a message on the user screen saying that the screen or system will remain logged. or unusable until a ransom payment is made. Phishing is a deception in which the malicious individual pretends to be a friend, computer security expert or other benevolent individual with the goal of convincing the targeted individual to reveal passwords or other personal information. Malware encompasses computer viruses along with many other forms of malicious software such as computer worms, ransomware, spyware, adware, Trojan horses, key loggers, root kits, boot kits, malicious browser helpline object, BHOs, and other malicious software. The majority of active malware, malware threats are Trojan horse programs or computer worms rather than computer viruses. Virus proofing countermeasures. This is a part that all of you need to pay close attention and follow these guidelines, uh, tips, whatever. These are pragmatic tips, very much useful in real life. Damage is due to causing system, causing system failure, corrupting data, wasting computer resources, increasing maintenance costs, or stealing personal information. The only reliable method to avoid stealth viruses is to boot from a medium that is known to be clear, safe. Security software can then be used to check the dormant operating system files. Dormant means sleeping. Use good antivirus software since prevention is better than cure. Detect the virus before it infects our system. Most modern antivirus pro software programs try to find virus patterns inside ordinary programs by scanning them for so-called virus signatures. Telltale signs of virus in our system are computer slowing down, sudden surge in memory usage, reduction of free space on our drives. Virus programs are designed to evade detection. One common technique is to use simple encryption to encipher, encode the body of the virus leaving only the encryption module on a static cryptographic key in a clear text which does not change from one infection to the next. So antivirus programs should outsmart these virus programs. Antivirus software does not change the underlying capability of hosts to transmit viruses. Users must update the software regularly to patch security vulnerabilities, also called as holes. Antivirus software also needs to be regularly updated to recognize the latest trends. Common security vulnerabilities are assigned CVE IDs. And listed in the US National Vulnerability Database. Preventive measures include timely operating system updates, software updates, careful internet browsing, avoiding shady websites, shady, shoddy, and installation of only trusted software. Certain browsers flag sites that have been reported to Google that, and that have been confirmed as hosting malware by Google. Virus signatures are just strings of code that are used to identify individual viruses for each virus. The antivirus designer tries to choose a unique signature string that will not be found in a legitimate program. 
different antivirus programs use different signatures to identify viruses. Find viruses to use. Find viruses is to use a heuristic algorithm based on common virus behaviors. One way, one may reduce the damage done by viruses by making regular backups of data and the operating systems on different media that are either kept unconnected to the system, most of the time as in a hard drive, read only, or not accessible for other reasons such as using different file systems. An operating system on a bootable CD can be used to start the computer if the installed operating system becomes unusable. Make an image, ISO document on an external storage media to restore system to a prior date. Some viruses disable system restore and other important Windows tools such as Task Manager and CMD. Many such viruses can be removed by rebooting the computer, entering Windows safe mode with networking and then using system tools. Uh, Microsoft Safety Scanner System. Scanner. System restore can restore the registry and critical system files to a previous checkpoint. Never click on links in emails from unknown senders. Block emails from senders not on your contact list. Update software installed only manually that too when you feel that is a necessity. Never install unwanted apps created by apes, monkeys. Most of them may provide a backdoor, illegal access to your system. Exercise adequate care of programs files with exe and cvoyo. Executable and com file extensions. It is advisable to block automatic execution commands. Restoring an earlier clean virus-free copy of the entire partition from a cloud clone disk, a disk image or a backup copy is one solution. Restoring an earlier backup disk image is relatively simple to do. Usually it removes any malware and may be faster than disinfecting. The computer or install any installing and config, configuring the operating system and programs from scratch then restoring user preferences. Reinstalling the operating system is another approach to virus removal. Two-factor authentication of your user accounts will act as a block to unauthorized users. Hackers accessing your user accounts. Your user login password should be strong. A combination of alphabets, lower and uppercase, numerals and special characters. Lengthy and complex. Keep changing your passwords regularly. Never share your passwords even with your family members and close friends. Never keep a soft copy of your login details, soft copy or hard copy. The use of viruses The list of viruses is certainly not exhaustive since unethical hackers come up with new ones as time progresses. That's why one should keep updating the knowledge on these viruses and prevent these viruses from infecting your system. Destruction is easy but construction is tough. Government should be proactive and condemn these unethical hackers to death, which will be a lesson to the shoddy community, bastards and bitches. One should be smart enough to outsmart all these unethical hackers to use smart gadgets, but users has, have become dumb and dumber. Create social media platforms, forums for useful discussion on, and pragmatic advice on preventive and countermeasures for computer viruses. Okay, debates and our discussion on open-ended topics like this can go on forever and anyway, let me pull the plug here. We'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements by views expressed are solely mine based on the written knowledge gained over six decades of versatile experience. Always watch these videos with close captions, subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension as per my sincere recommendation zillion times so far. I made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum. Today I must have taken maybe 12-30 minutes. This time limit is self-imposed to retain the viewer's attention as a norm. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing, attributed to pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. To lead a healthy life, God, also known as the supreme power, is a one and only one who can put a stop to natural events, bio war and cyber war events like pandemics and epidemics, which ultimately pays the way for apocalypse of ex an extinction of sentient species on earth for no fault of this. Rest in peace and harmony.